A bipartisan delegation of state lawmakers just getting back from an overseas trip to Japan where they met with their counterparts from the island nation, the whole thing, to address several shared issues. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Rucker, of course, and tonight for Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Among the topics discussed, high-speed rail. Fox 40 Capital reporter Eitan Wallace spoke with an assembly member about takeaways from the trip and gives us a look at where high-speed rail construction stands right now here in California. Well, Japan certainly is far from California, more than 5,000 miles to be exact. But one assemblyman who just traveled there with a group of his legislative colleagues says there's a lot to gain from a Japan-California relationship, including benefits to high-speed rail. You're looking at the future of high-speed rail in California, a project that has been under construction and development for several years now, and one that eventually seeks to connect Southern California to Northern California. Construction is already underway in the Central Valley where the High Speed Rail Authority hopes to begin service between Bakersfield and Merced come 2029. After that, the goal is to connect Anaheim to San Francisco by 2033 and San Diego to Sacramento sometime later, although that exact date has not been released. High Speed Rail, often referred to as the bullet train, was one of several issues this bipartisan group of legislators addressed when they traveled to Japan this month to meet with various industry leaders and government officials. I'm actually learning a, a lot and making a lot of great relationships. Democratic Assembly member Alex Lee was one of the lawmakers who took part in the overseas trip put on by the California Foundation on the Environment and the Economy. He notes once complete, the bullet train route will go directly through his district in San Jose, which is why he made the bullet train a center point on his trip to Japan, where high-speed rail has long existed. Japan embarked on the project of high-speed rail starting in 1950s, and they've had ups and downs, of course, themselves, and a lot of big, big changes. But what we're trying to achieve in California is to catch up to the rest of the world, catch up. But high-speed rail has faced its share of opposition in California. The state Senate Republican Caucus even created this landing page online to argue the project is too expensive, unreliable, and inefficient. Still, Lee says he's happy the trip to Japan brought together members from both sides of the aisle and their Japanese counterparts to discuss not just the bullet train, but also energy, the economy, and the environment. We need to catch up. We need to catch up. And I'm really hopeful that we can learn and be humble, as uh, sometimes Americans aren't. So let's be humble to learn from our neighbors across the Pacific. And important to note, the trip to Japan was not paid for with taxpayer dollars. Lawmakers are set to reconvene here at the state capitol on December 5th for the start of the new legislative session. Reporting here outside the state capitol, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.